Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Soma Yazare. Thanks for Dr. Ojeda's kind remarks. Um, I'm one of UCSC breast pathologists. I'm actually the director of uh, breast pathology service. Today, uh, we are going to review some of the breast pathology entities that I thought may be of interest to radiologists. It's a quick review of uh, radiology pathology correlation. Uh, we are going to discuss ancillary studies in breast cancer. And then we can um, look at some high-risk lesions of breast. And I want to share with you some of the cases that may be diagnostically challenging for pathologists. So we are, you know, breast radiologists and breast pathologists are the parts of the same team that our goal is to diagnose cancers and to make sure that diagnostic workup for patients are complete and it is appropriately done. So it is very important to have this correlation between the pathology department and radiology department, wherever you're working. At UCSD, we have a very good policy of talking about all of the breast biopsies. We usually, as pathologists call back, talk to radiologists. Most of the time, you know, cases are straightforward. Whenever there is a discrepancy, whenever there is something um, that is not matching, it's good to hear from radiologists or, you know, so you can go back to another biopsy or from our side, we may take another look, look at deeper sections and uh, something like that. Uh, we know that no um, imaging modality is perfect. There is uh, no imaging that gives you 100% of answers. And there is always possibility of sampling error. So having this correlation and, uh, you know, relationship between radiologists and pathologists can be very, very important. Here is just some reminders for you. I know you know all of this, but from a pathology lab perspective, um, there are some few things such as, you know, a clear labeling. We receive between, in our lab two to 300 specimens every day. And believe me, at least few of them, there is something wrong with label. You know, it sounds very, you know, no brainer. Everybody knows label should be complete, but there is something wrong, you know, it doesn't match with the requisition paper, <laughs> name is wrong, laterality doesn't match. And it really takes a lot, a lot of time and effort from our side to resolve those issues. Having a, as much as um, relevant clinical information is very helpful to us. Sometimes, you know, the medical records, the patient doesn't have any um, um, visit to the clinic before having this um, uh, procedure done by you guys. And we don't know what is the patient's history. So having few lines about the patient's history is really, really appreciated. We are very fortunate that UCSD, our radiologists are amazing in that regard. Usually there is, there is a very short uh, 